Dear students, welcome to our second lesson on statistical review. Today we shall review the estimate of parameters used to assess the dependence of relationship between variables as well as their use in animal breeding and genetics. This include the covariance, the correlation coefficient, and the regression coefficient. By definition, the covariance is the average of the sum of the product of the deviation of the values of two variables from their arithmetic mean. It is noted covariance xy or sigma xy with the formula here presented where x i and y i are x and y performances of individual i i varying from 1 to n and mu x and mu y the mean of the two variables Now, what about coefficient of correlation? It is the meaning and degree of association between two parameters and it is given by the quotient of their covariance by the product of their standard deviation using the formula here presented. And for the interpretation or meaning, a negative correlation implies that the improvement of the target threat induces the depression of the correlated threat. Zero correlation means that both threats are independent, and positive correlation implies that the improvement of the target threat induces the improvement of the correlated one. Now, in words, the coefficient of regression of B, the coefficient of regression, sorry, B of X on Y is the change in the value of Y when X is one unit higher. It is given by the formula covariance XY over variance X. It is also possible to calculate the change in x when y is one unit higher this way byx is given by the formula covariance xy over variance y now for the interpretation negative coefficient of regression means that both threads are negatively correlated a null regression coefficient means that both threats are independent or null correlation and positive regression means both threats are positively correlated and evolve in the same direction during selection. Now, let's discuss about the use of these three parameters in animal breeding and genetics. The covariance is used in animal breeding and genetics for the estimation of the heritability of half seeds and for the correlated response to selection. The coefficient of correlation is used for the selection and or the prediction on more than one character and for the correlated responses. The regression coefficient, lastly, is used for the estimate of parent offspring heritability as well as the prediction of correlated responses to selection. Fellow students, we have come to the end.
of this short session. Our next session on statistical overview shall be on the normal distribution statistics as applicable to animal breeding. Thank you and do not forget to like and subscribe. See you next time for another exciting session.